Namaskar. Today we are going to discuss side angle pose, some variations, some adjustments, and some modifications. The first thing I'm going to do is ask Marie to go into a foot position that is much similar to triangle pose. So it's somewhat similar. I know some of you it might be a little different. Depends on the style that you learned. And what I'm going to ask you to do is the first one with the forearm on the thigh and also the hand on the hip. Oh, that, that's, that was good. Um, on this one, if you're walking around the room different times, there are some ways that, um, that you can make some adjustments. And here's one as an example, bring your forearm so it's on the, um, yes. You see some people sometimes, and with Marie it's not happening, but some people sometimes what they do is they lean their weight onto the leg, almost cutting the circulation off on the thigh. And then what happens is they're depending on their skeleton to hold themselves into position. Actually, we want the muscles of the trunk, or we call our, tor our um, core muscles, to hold the body in place, to hold the spine in place. So when you're walking around the class and you've got 20 students to deal with and you want to see very quickly if they're using a lot of arm strength or I should say pressure from the forearm down on the thigh, so they're using the skeleton. What you do is you push to see if you feel any tension. Now, Marie went right away to this variation, which on this variation with the forearm inside, there is no dependence upon the skeleton to leverage herself into place. So this is one variation. Another thing we could check. We could check a few angles as far as the shoulders go. And it all depends. Everybody's skeleton is a little bit different. I'm going to ask you to go to the next variation, bringing your hand to your head. Yep. So another thing too, some people feel like, well, their students should be perfectly straight. Your students are not sculptures. They're not made of clay. Their skeletons are different. So what we've got some people are going to have a little curve in one spot or another and this helps somebody who's new get used to this pose so go ahead and go into yes okay so here would be some things some people feel fingertip and I realize there's some variations as far as hand position goes but we've got when you start to look at things some people will try to have as straight of a line as possible from the fingertip all the way to the heel. It's not always going to happen that way. This is reasonably good. We're going to just play a little bit, see what else we can get out of it. I just took her arm back and tried to draw it in line. This right here could be a curve in somebody's body. This right here could be a curve. If you've ever noticed my elbows, you've noticed that my elbows are not exactly straight. I don't lock my elbows out because I actually can't lock my elbows out. But everyone's got different things in their body. Again, she's, she's got the forearm inside the thigh, so there's no cheating, we'll say. So this is a, this is a good side angle pose as we're walking around. Now, we didn't show you some of the other variations. Go ahead, take a break, Marie. And I'm going to ask Marie to do a side angle to the opposite side. And I know that there's a lower variation of one. But what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to bring a chair in and ask Marie to show a variation. Now, this is for, say, someone in your class is a mobile senior, you know, somebody who drove to class or walked to class. And this person would not lean on their leg at all. And she's elected to do it this way. Some of them do it with a forearm. Some of them do it with a grip. So you've got some variations. Um, and everybody's a little bit different. It's one of those things where we start to look 
at how the body's made and we start to play with it. Now, as far as the leg goes, this knee, I realize that the chair is in the way and I'm going to throw Marie a little off. What I'm going to do here is take the chair away. So now you've not got this, the chair to use. The hand is on the inside. The knee here, one thing I want to point out, the knee, as we look right here, should be, in an ideal world, aligned so that it's right over the ankle. Sometimes, it depends on your students, they're going to feel uncomfortable one way or another in certain postures. The one thing never to do is to have the knee going beyond the ankle. So, I believe that's all that we needed to cover. I realize that there is a lower variation of side angle pose with the hand down inside the um, leg and then all the way over and I just want to mention that is another good variation and I know some of you already practiced that. One thing's for sure, you're not going to depend on your skeleton to hold that posture. For now, I want to wish you all farewell and to have a nice week. Om Shanti.